And on today's episode of This Old Airplane, we're going to do things a little bit differently. For one, we're going to shoot a video and, uh, and hopefully get that posted and so that you can see the process that I go through for one of the projects that uh, we're going to do on Centurion 5.2 X-Ray. And the thing we're going to do today is we're going to do a... Uh, we're going to do some maintenance in accordance with a Cessna single engine service bulletin from uh, September of 1971, which is uh, an aileron balance weight inspection. And uh, actually, I already did the inspection, but we're going to do the follow on maintenance for that, which is to replace the eighth inch rivets that are in the aileron balance weights with some new uh, 530 seconds AD rivets. And you'll notice that these ones are uh, pre-alodyned. And that's actually the subject of why the, uh, why the Single Engine Service Bulletin was published. Up until 1967, Cessna attached the lead balance weights onto the uh, aluminum ailerons with plain 8th inch um, AD rivets. They weren't uh, alodyned, they were just plain aluminum. And what happened over the years um, must have happened pretty quickly because uh, this... This actually service bulletin is actually older than I am. But anyway, so in 62, when they manufactured uh, Centurion 5.2 X-Ray, they attached the lead aileron balance weights with plain 8th inch aluminum rivets. And over the years, the, uh, the interaction between those two metals those dis caused some dissimilar metal corrosion. And uh, I found a couple of the rivet heads had popped off since, hopefully since the last inspection. They look pretty fresh. So... Kind of a safety concern, because uh, not so much that the aileron balance weights are going to come loose, but the fact the heads of those rivets keep the skin on the leading edge of the aileron, and I'll show you some of that here in a little bit. And uh, there's 35 rivets that hold each one of the balance weights on, so we got to punch those out, drill off the heads, punch them out, uh, oversize the holes to the next size bigger, because right now they have 8 inch holes, and we're going to put 5 30 seconds holes in, and then uh, squeeze in these new rivets. 35 on each aileron. We got two ailerons to do, so it's going to be 70 rivets. And so this uh, quarter pound package of, uh, of rivets from uh, one of my favorite suppliers is uh, it's got almost 100 rivets in it. So it's five dollars worth of rivets, not a big deal, but it is uh, quite a bit of work to change them all just because how many there is. But anyway, I'll post a couple of, couple of pictures and uh, we'll, we'll get some in-action shots. Hopefully I can get my two sons to, uh, to do a little bit of video with me. And uh, we can get this edited and posted and we'll see how you like it. If you like the video, please, uh, I'm actually going to try and put up a YouTube page. I think I have one already, but I haven't put anything on it. But uh, like and subscribe. Give us suggestions on things that you'd like to see. Uh, by the time that you see this video, hopefully we'll have the airplane long and back in the air. I flew it for the first time in four months, uh, just a few days ago, and uh, so I'm kind of behind on my updates to my This Old Airplane Facebook page, but uh, yeah, that's how it's going. So, stay tuned for more. So one of the things we're doing here, or the project we're doing, is we're replacing these balance weight rivets. Here's the aileron balance weight. It takes up almost half of the half of the length of the aileron. There's the control rods right here, and that's the uh, outboard edge. The balance weight is on the outboard edge. I'm going to come here a little closer. You can see there's a there's a extruded lead balance weight that's riveted between two plates here, and the original rivets were a eighth inch rivet, plain aluminum, and the ones we're replacing it with, we're actually half done with both of these already. The ones we're replacing with is a uh, 5 30 seconds diameter alodyned aluminum rivet. And uh, we started with three of them right here, just as a, as, a, uh, as a test case, when we did those three first. And as we started drilling the other ones out, the heads started popping off some of the remaining ones. And if you look really close, you can see down in there how, uh, how deep that rivet was actually fractured and broken. So if that, you know, if that breaks off in flight, there's nothing holding that skin on in that spot anymore. And so these rivets not only provide structural support to the aileron balance weight, but they hold the skin on the outside of the aileron. So, and that's, uh, that's, what we're, that's why we're fixing them.
this socket on the bottom side to support the metal around the shop head. And the head's already been drilled off. We use a smaller punch. There's one of the old rivets. So one of the things that JJ is doing here is because of the way these rivets actually sit in that balance weight, the heads don't sit super, super flush. So Jay's using the actual squeezer with the the anvil die on or the the head die on the one side, and actually just the open ram on the other side to kind of push those rivets down in there and uh, make sure those heads set flush. And then after that, we'll switch it out, put the actual anvil on the ram, and then set those rivets permanently. And then we've actually done all the ones on this one already. So I think there's 35 on each side. And uh, you can see how they've all Looked good. I said probably, let me swap it around here. Probably 10 or uh, maybe even 15% of those original rivets when we started working on the heads, the heads just popped off because the, uh, they were the corroded right underneath the head. And then a couple of them, the actual, uh, the actual shaft grip length of the rivet was actually corroded. And if I come down here, Here's our little pile of rivets that's left over. I'm gonna stick my glasses on right quick. And uh, although I didn't do a very good job of drilling that rivet out as far as getting it, you can actually see from the, you can actually see from the close up, the corrosion on some of these rivets uh, where, the, where the plain rivet was corroding against the the lead balance weight. And of course there's a newer style one that I dorked up putting it in the hole. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this episode of This Old Airplane. Hope you enjoyed it. This uh, format's a little different than what we've been doing. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, have a great day.